What's up friends, happy new year. And today we are working on a fun project. We're gonna be adding some new rock holds to this rock wall right here. So let's see what we got for our supplies and then we'll get started. So you can see here, this is, uh, we actually have two rock walls, which if you wanna see all the deets on our climbing equipment, uh, check out thepspecialist.com slash climbing. Um, this is the first one that we got. You can see that it's a little bit more sparse. And this is the second one we got, which has a few more holds and it has these like, molded rock holds on it which makes it a little bit easier for the kiddos to climb on um, there are different color routes for the rock wall so the different colors like you see this has three routes a green a yellow and a red route and there are different difficulties uh, usually i start teaching routes at about second grade so the kindergarten first graders are just focused on learning how to climb across the wall um, but because of that, because this one has a lot more empty space, it makes it a little bit harder for the younger kids to climb it. So what I did was bought some holds. Uh, now you can spend a lot of money on rock holds. I got some cheaper ones off of Amazon and there was a, some cooler ones that I wanted, but they were not in stock. I waited for like a couple months and it just ended up not knowing when they would come back in stock. So I uh, ended up getting these normal gray rock holds. The main thing I was looking for was a color that was not red, green, or yellow since that's the holds that I already have. I wanted to build, be able to build a different route that wouldn't interfere with these routes. Uh, so if the kids wanted to try to climb the different routes, they could. So total amount I spent was 250 bucks. The bigger the hold, the more expensive it is. I got a um, box of five. These are called jugs. Um, so these are just gray rock color. So it kinda, it'll kind of go along with the gray holds on this wall is what I was thinking. But I wanted to get some blue holds, but they were out of stock. So I couldn't get any blue holds. But these were 50 bucks for a pack of five. So those are like the larger ones and you can kind of put them however you want, but you can see there's a little handhold right there. So I'll probably put it up like that. And then $200, and it comes with the mounting hardware as well. Uh, $200 for the smaller variety pack, pack of a hundred. So these are a uh, pack of a hundred. There's two boxes of these and um, it's just a variety of different holds. And we'll do, um, I don't know, just gonna play around, try to see uh, what I think looks good. It feels good for the wall, uh, but these are basically two bucks a piece, $200 for a bag of a hundred. These are big, bigger holds that are $10 a piece. Uh, those are called jugs. So, all right, uh, a few other things. I have one of these tools to like go and tighten the holds. If there's ever a hold that gets looser, which that's great for that. And I have these old school hexes, um, but when you're putting up a ton of rock holds, you want to be able to speed up the process. That's why I have this drill and I cut off one of these hex tools. And so I'm going to be using that as a drill bit. All right, so let's get started. Um, you know, the cool thing about the rock wall is it's not permanent. So if I do set it up, I'm obviously imagining younger kids smaller than me. So as I'm practicing the different moves to do the different holds. I'm imagining what it would be like for a younger student. But when the kids get on it, it might be too difficult or it might be too easy or it might be just right. And I can move holds around or add holds in as I see fit um, once I see the kids actually playing on it. So I'll modify and adjust once the kids get on it and start playing. Drill clutch, the lower the number, the less force it's gonna put in. So like if I have it on four, you can see there's no way it's gonna strip screw, it's just gonna screw it in tight. Then I can go back in with the hex tool and tighten it by hand if I want to. So a little tip for the drill, let's get going. Unfortunately, I've run into a uh, difficulty with the screw size. So these are two inch screws and I'm gonna to need to order some inch and a half because some of the holes, probably about half the holes, um, since I'm going into a three quarter inch plywood that's on the wall, like the plywood will end and then there'll be a little bit of the screw that hits the wall. So check this out. So I don't know if you can see that, but like the screws all the way into the hold. And when I go and put this into the wall, there's gonna be a little gap. So what will happen is when I screw this in tight, the screw is going to hit the concrete and it's going to like bow the plywood out away from the wall um so these are two inch screws so i just need to get an inch and a half screw the same size and then i should be good to go to continue the project um like what it should look like some of the holes are a little bit thicker like this is a thicker hold so you can see this one is able to set nicely on the plywood and the screw is not touching the wall so that's kind of what you want 
uh, when you're screwing these into a wall that is uh, mounted on a concrete wall. So have to uh, continue this in a little bit, but um, I was able to get a few of the fatter holds up. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like when I finish, um, but to be continued. Hey, just finished it up. Um, so what I ended up doing was I did order some new uh, screws because some of the holds were too shallow, um, but I was able to find enough holds that were thick enough because it was about probably half the holes were thick enough and then half the holds the screw ended up going to the concrete block. Um, so I finished it up. These are the holes that were a little bit too shallow to use. Um, so once I get those new screws, I might go in and add a few more footholds uh, onto the wall. We'll see what happens. Um, but here's what it looks like. I think it's gonna be good. You can see the, it's like two layers of footholds and two layers of handholds, which I'll find, I find is good for the littler kids because there wasn't a lot of holds like in this middle area and because the, some of the little kids are too short to reach the like first stage of holds up here um i think it'll be really good for like my k1 students to have more holds on the wall so that's it that's the uh the finished product uh ended up putting one of the larger jugs on each section so like this is the big like size of my hand and then these are the uh smaller ones so you can kind of see are pretty similar size as um, variety pack. So you, one large jug on each section to like have a little rest spot on each one. And then pretty much two layers of footholds, two layers of handholds, uh, total of 58 holds I used, I think, to, uh, to add those into the wall. So yep, there we go. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope that was interesting, helpful. Uh, so to add a new route to your wall, you know, I spent 250 bucks. I still got all these holds. So I might even add some of these once I get those new screws to the other wall over there. Um, but if you want to see more information on how I do rock climbing, how I teach our rope climbing, cargo net, how we do all of our like American Ninja Warrior type obstacle stations, uh, check out the pspecialist.com slash climbing. And hope you have an awesome day. As always, have fun and teach on. Catch you later.